Stop creating boring black and white floor plans and stop wasting time compositing images in Photoshop. Here's a better and faster way to create architecture drawings for presentation and competition boards. Let's get started. In this video, we'll be using Lumion, which you can get for free if you're a student. But if you're not a student, then there's also a free trial. First, you need to have your project imported into Lumion with materials, furniture, and vegetation already added to the scene. If you don't know how to do that, then you can watch these videos here. When you have your scene already set up, let's start creating 3D drawings, starting with the 3D site plan. First, I will click on this button to go to the photo mode. Now let's create a camera view by clicking here. Then I will click on this button and choose one of the style presets that Lumion provides. I will choose the daytime style. And with just one click, you can see that our render is already looking a lot better. Next, click here to add an effect. Then go to architectural and select the orthographic view effect. Then we can turn it on using this toggle. You will see a new property bar at the bottom of the preview window. Here you can switch between a perspective 2D view and an orthographic 2D view. To navigate, you can drag the right mouse button to orbit and drag the middle mouse button to pan. And if you use the scroll wheel, then you can zoom in and out. Alternatively, you can use these sliders to zoom in and out and change the orientation of the view more precisely. The heading and pitch sliders will snap to the most common values such as 90 degrees, 180 degrees, etc. Note that you can also use the WASD keys to move forward, backward, and left and right while the Q and E keys will let you move up and down. When you like the look of your view, click the camera button again to update it. There we go, it's a super quick way to create a site plan. Just imagine how long this would take if you did all of this in Photoshop. You can even try different variations of the same image. For example, I can click these three dots and copy this photo, then paste it in the next slot. Now I can click here and try a different style preset such as the realistic style. Then you can make further adjustments with the effects, such as changing the sun angle for example. Or if you want to learn more about editing and creating your own styles and effects, then you can watch this video here. Next, let's create an elevation of your building. Again, I will copy and paste one of the existing views to the new slot. Now I will go back to the orthographic view effect and adjust the heading and pitch slider so that the view aligns with one of the elevations of my building. You can see that the elevation of my building is blocked by the trees and other buildings that are in front of it. To fix this, you can use this slider here. I will switch to an isometric view to make it easier for you to see the effects of this slider. You can see that as I adjust the new clip slider, it will cut away the parts that are nearer to the camera, which are in front of my building. Similarly, the far clip slider will cut away the parts that are farther away from the camera. Just use these two sliders to cut away the unneeded parts in your render. Note that you can hold the shift key while dragging the slider for a more precise value. Down here is the fill color, which will let you fill the background with a simple solid color, if that's what you prefer. As for me, I like having the sky in my elevation, so I will turn this off. And again, if I would like, I can make adjustments to the effects to fine tune the look of my render. Also, make sure to click this button to update the view. The cool thing is that when you're exporting a render, you can choose to export several render elements or render channels in Lumion which will be very useful if you want to edit the render even more in post-production software like Photoshop. For example, I can use the Sky Alpha map to help me replace the background of my render really easily. To do that in Photoshop, press Ctrl A to select this whole image. Then press Ctrl C to copy. Then I will turn off this layer, then select the other layer and click here to add a layer mask. Now hold Alt and left click the layer mask, then paste the Sky Alpha channel here. Next, I will press Ctrl I to invert the mask. And now we have a masked out image. Then we can drag in a new background for our sky and make some quick color adjustments. Pretty cool, huh? Next, let's create a 3D section cut. This is similar to the elevation, so I just need to copy and paste the elevation view. Then I can change the angle of the camera if I like. In this case, I will create a section cut through the long side of my building. Now, I can adjust the new clip amount until it cuts through my building like so. After that, I can change the lighting so that the sun shines through my building in a way that it gives more depth to the render, making it more dynamic. You can see that the interior looks a little dark, so I can go to the shadows effect and increase the brightness so that it's not too dark. There we go! Now I can edit this in Photoshop such as adding another background, or you can also add post shade to the section if you like. Later in the video, 
I will show you how to overlay a line drawing on top of the render floor plan, which is even faster. And that looks great. Next, let's create a 3D floor plan. This is similar to the site plan that we did earlier, so I will just need to copy and paste the site plan and zoom closer to the building. Now let's update the view. However, if you use the near clip slider to cut away parts of the scene, you can see that it cuts away things like the trees, which makes it look really odd. So instead, we can go to the build mode and in the tools and utility category, click here to add a clip plane. Now I can move it up and down vertically, so I cut through the building in the first floor. The cool thing about this method is that since I have my projects organized in different layers, such as vegetation, side elements, etc., I can choose the layer that I want the clip plane to cut through. In this case, it's layer 1, on which is my building. As you can see, now the cut plane is only cutting through my building, while the trees and other elements are not affected. This will result in a better looking floor plan. Just like the other drawings we did, we can change the styles and effects for a different look. For example, here I can use an overcast sky and increase the exposure and contrast a bit. This will give you a floor plan without directional shadows from the sun. If you want a floor plan without the sights on it, then you can use your 3D model and hide the site, then save it as another file. Here I'm using SketchUp, but Lumion is compatible with many different software. Back in Lumion, you can click on the imported model and click here to create a variation. Now for the new variation, I will hold Alt and click here to load in the new model that I just created. There we go. You can see we now have two different variations of the imported model in Lumion. Back in the photo mode, I can add a new effect located in the utility category, which is called variation control. To use this effect, first click here and select the imported model of the building, the origin of which will be different depending on how you created your model in your 3D software. Next, click OK. Now you can switch between the different variations using this slider. This will help you control the variations in different views. Additionally, I can add the layer visibility effect and turn off the layers for vegetation and site elements. However, I want these trees to be visible, so I will select them and change their layer to a different layer, which will be visible in this view. That looks good. You can see that the clip plane also affects the other views that we created. By using the same method, we can move the clip plane to another layer. You can rename the layer accordingly if you want to be organized. Then add a layer visibility effect and turn off the clip plane layer. Just apply this method to all the views if you need. A bonus tip is that you can export a line drawing from your 3D software. Then in Photoshop, you can import it and overlay it on top of the render from Lumion by setting the blend mode to multiply. Also, render elements are very useful for post-production. For example, you can use the material ID channel to make it easier to make a selection. And by using that selection, you can make adjustment to the material or overlay a color on top of it or replace it with a different texture. The lighting render element is also useful. You can add it to Photoshop and make some quick adjustment to create a clay render effect. The possibilities are endless. And that's how to create beautiful 3D drawings for your presentation boards. If you want to learn more about Lumion and how to create beautiful renders for your hero shots, then I recommend you watch this Lumion playlist here. That's all for today. Stay inspired guys and I will see you next time.